minute with the money man, Lance Hocutt. Lance Hocutt Financial Group joining us now. More comfortable approach to all things money. Lance, good morning. Roll Tide, man. Roll Tide, my friend. How are you doing this morning? We're doing quite well, man, for a uh, for a Wednesday. You know, uh, you know, we have appointment radio when when your wife, when my wife starts texting and say, hey, why aren't you on the radio yet? <laughs> I know. I, I know. I know. She keeps us honest. I love that, man. <laughs> oh, man, it's awesome. And uh, I'm thankful for all those others out there that keep us with that as well and start looking for us at 915 every morning. You bet. Give or take a few minutes one way or the other, right? <laughs> That's right. That's exactly uh, uh, right. Getting ready for fall, too, man. James Spann's telling us this morning it's going to be a little bit cooler, and we're going to notice it here in about a week. Can you believe that? I've noticed a few brown leaves, I around, know. which is kind of weird, especially with how much rain we've had. So, uh, you know, fall is in the air. I think we all might feel a little bit better about this whole deal when yep. we start to see something happen on that gridiron uh, at the yep. college level, too. You were so right. And, of course, we learned yesterday that the Bama – uh, Missouri game will be on ESPN with a six o'clock kickoff, so we can kind yeah, of that. plan around that, can't we? That'll, that'll make us all feel better, guaranteed. There's some, there's some football coming on this Thursday night too that starts off uh, Austin P and I think Arkansas State, maybe. You know, I'm so hungry, like a lot of y'all for football. I, I, I'm honest. This may be the first Austin P game I've watched, but I'm probably gonna, <laughs> I'm probably gonna tune in tomorrow. You know, we had Walt Maddox on this morning, and I had never known this about the mayor. He told us that he was offered a coaching job. He thought he wanted to be a football coach at Austin P at one point uh, before he ever thought about politics, and he turned it down. But he said there've been many days lately when he wished he had taken that job. <laughs> Yeah, I, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. We were actually in Clarksville, Tennessee the other day. At, really? up at, uh, we weren't at Austin P, and that's where uh, where Austin P is. It's pretty pretty neat little town. I could not have told you uh, where it is, so now we know. Clarksville, Tennessee. Uh, Lance, we have two things. Uh, we're going to get to a question in just a minute from listener Phoenix, who tapped that app. Uh, cool name, by the way. I like that favorite name. 95.3 The Bear is the app. But first, I want to ask you a question, uh, and, and, and you you got to dumb it down for me. But I'm curious about this. I saw a report on Fox News talking about the fact that here we are, September 2020, the stock market on Tuesday hit record highs, and we had the best August in 36 years. So my question is, with... with with the economy, with COVID-19, with some businesses struggling, some that didn't make it, how is that not reflected in the stock market? Well, I, I certainly appreciate that question. And, that, and in fact, if you ask my team here, you could you could hit play on a, on a voicemail or something for me. And literally, it's been the same response. I had this question for my wife last night. She's really? like, honey, I see that the news that and and I'll I'll let you make this uh, I'll, I'll let you come up with your answer uh, with this on your right hand we've got our president and maybe I've said this before we've got our president that says uh, everything's great the market's great the economy's great and so that's statement A right but also out of their same mouth they Congress president out of their same mouth on statement B they're saying hey we're going to give you an additional four trillion to spend yes. So my, uh, what I want you, I want our listeners to come up with is if statement A is correct, then why do we need statement B? Does that make sense? That if, makes if the market's great, if the economy's sense. great, yes. why do we need more fake money? Yeah. Uh, my, it's my assertion that, and I've got documentation, that this market has been built on two things. Mm -hmm. Number one, the Fed. There's a thing out there that says you can't fight the Fed, and mm -hmm. that's been helpful ensuring up businesses, ensuring up a lot of things in our economy. However, the second and almost as critical, I read an article this morning talking about this, uh, the, the market has been driven. The S&P 500 is made up of around 400 plus stocks, almost 500, and it kind of comes and goes, but it's called the S&P 500. Steve, if you look at the performance of the 10 top stocks, in there, and again, I'm not pushing any stocks. I'm not giving advice, but I'm telling you the reality. Mm -hmm. This S and P 500 has been driven by 10 stocks uh, that represent over 33 percent of the S and P 500. So you've got 10 stocks 
that are heavier, we understand heavy, that are heavier than the other 490 stocks. Uh-huh. So the other remaining 60 plus percent, 70 percent of those stocks, guess where they are? They're still down at lows that we saw back in March and April. Uh-huh. So this market, the the market itself, the stock market, the S and P 500 has risen based on ten stocks, and you can go look at those: Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google. Two classes of Google: uh, Netflix uh, shares of Visa, uh, Procter and Gamble, uh, Johnson and Johnson. Those company, and I'm not offering to sell those shares. I'm not. This is this is just true. What's happening? All of those stocks have grown exponentially. But the other remaining are still down at lows. So if you're an investor out there sitting there going, wow, I've been sitting here, I've protected myself, um, I'm concerned I've missed out. Don't worry, you've not missed out. Because unless your financial planning is based on those 10 stocks, Mm -hmm. you're following the process that you should. So there there are lots of concerns that this market is a bubble. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing more and more talk out there in the industry and in the news that this thing is too big for itself right now. So, Steve, I appreciate you asking that question because, in my opinion, it's not reality. Uh, I look at the people who are out of work. I look at the mortgages that are uh, 30, 60, 90 days late. Yes. I look at the, the – the, the, yes, we saw some credit uh, paid down in America However, if you look at the underlying, there's still a lot out there. Uh, you look at the autos that are 30, 60, 90 days late. You look at, look at the streets. Uh, my, my daughter and I went yesterday afternoon to go find a pair of shoes, and we went into uh, Midtown. Mm-hmm. Look at how many stores are closed right now at Midtown. Not just, hey, we're closed today, right. but there, there are signs for lease. I, I'm just not of an opinion that, that real America is with the stock market today. I think they're disjointed. I think, and I've got proof to show that if somebody wants to call me and ask me about it, but there, there are, there is a big disconnect between the market and the real world right now. I understand. And thanks for the explanation. That was excellent. And and I hope that brings it to what everybody can understand because we got a real crisis going on and I'm not a negative Nelly. I hope y'all heard me for the last three or four months. I am not a negative Nelly, Nelly, but we're real. We're, we've got to focus on reality. Listener Phoenix, by way of the 95.3 Bear app, says, Lance Hocutt, I need a bank in Tuscaloosa. Any suggestions? It seems uh, banks are almost as prominent as churches, and that's a good thing yeah. uh, to have churches on every corner. Sure. Uh, but here's what I'm going to tell Phoenix. You need a place that you can have a relationship. Uh, walking in and seeing your your teller, seeing your personal banker is important to me. It's important to me. It's important to have that relationship. Uh, if you want to go and 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 do everything on an app and not have some uh, some relationship when you need a loan or have a relationship when you need that little credit card to, to float something, uh, it, then go and do something online. There are plenty of online banks out there. We see them advertised all the time. But I'm a guy that likes to walk in and see my guy or gal and say, hey, I need some help on this, and I stand ready to help you. That's where it's going to come to to help you greatly, not just that you're holding your money here, but when you've got that relationship and you need a loan, when you need some credibility, then that's what you're going to find. There are plenty of local, and I'm a local guy. I like local banks, but are there national banks here in town that have really good people? Sure there are. But I would I would search around where you work out, where you work, where you go to church, and ask people, hey, where do you bank? Do you like that? Mm-hmm. Do you like the, the service you get? Do you have a relationship with that guy or gal? That's what it's based on. Uh, and maybe I uh, really let that bleed over to what we do because we have the relationship. If you want to go buy stocks and sell stocks all day, go for it. There are right. plenty of places to do that. But what we do, and that's what I'd encourage somebody to look for in a banker as well, is create the relationship. So you're walking through the good, the bad, the ugly, and making sure you're holding those hands 
uh, long term. Solid top shelf advice, I believe, and that's why we love you, Lance Hocutt. A more comfortable approach? Well, you just proved it. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. You can reach us at 205-345-9733. And just remember, the Lance Hocutt Financial Group is an independent firm, and we clear through S.A. Stone Wealth. God bless y'all. We will talk to y'all. Can you believe tomorrow's Thursday? Man, in the blink of an eye. And it's September. I find that hard to deal with, too. LanceHocutt.com. Lance Hocutt Financial Group. Hocutt Financial.